Epidemic. When I say the word epidemic, what comes to mind? Most people think of a disease affecting a widespread population. Today, I will talk about the number one epidemic in the United States today, obesity. According to the Food and Resource Action Center, two in three of the United States population are either overweight or obese. That is a whopping 35% of the United States adult population. Hi, my name is Denise Chavez and today we will talk about the different contributing factors to obesity, the health risks involved with obesity, and the possible solutions to this widespread issue. First, let's talk about the different contributing factors, such as poor diet and lack of exercise. Americans have a fast-paced lifestyle, and in an effort to keep up with this, food is often over-processed, high in saturated fat to be fast, cheap, and easy. While this is more convenient for Americans, this is not the best health options because it, it, it lacks the variety that they need to, in order to maintain a proper health and weight. This combined with lack of exercise is a recipe for disaster. Americans work an average of 40 hours per week. That's more than the German, the French, the English, and even the Japanese. This leaves little time to actually exercise at least three times per week to maintain a proper health and weight. These two factors combined lead to an increased risk in different health risks. This, this leads to an increased risk in type 2 diabetes, an increased risk of cancer, heart disease, sleep apnea, and, and even a, an increased risk of stroke. Today we will talk about type 2 diabetes and increased risk of cancer. Type 2 diabetes is when your body cannot process your insulin properly so this is and it causes your blood glucose levels to rise. It gone unchecked, it can lead to an amputee of limbs, a diabetic coma, and even death. Also, obesity and being overweight causes an increased risk in cancer. If this causes an increased risk in breast cancer, colon, gallbladder, and uterus cancer in women. It also causes an increased risk in colon and prostate cancer in men. These two things, most of the health risks can be reversed with proper exercise and healthy food choices. Healthy food choices include choosing leafy green vegetables, fresh fruit, and protein, a balanced diet, in order to actually maintain a healthy weight. And an increase in an increase in exercise, it can be as simple as taking a walk around your neighborhood or doing sitting exercises. These two combi these two factors combined can actually help curb this widespread issue of being overweight and obese and maintain your healthy weight. In conclusion, we talked about the different contributing factors to, to obesity, the health risks involved with obesity, and the possible solutions to this widespread issue. The battle of the bulge can be a difficult one to win. But it can be overcome, and it, is a, and it is an attainable goal. You will overall live a better, healthier, and longer life if you do so. Thank you.